Hey guys, Loki D here, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. And I've been working off camera again. I know, it kind of happens. Um, and haven't got a lot done. I've been playing a bunch of other games at the same time, so I've, I've kind of not been recording. Well, I've been recording them, but none of them have come out really great, so uh, maybe one day. Anyway, so what have I done around here lately? Well, not a lot of major things. The only thing I have managed to do is put this door in, and it was a little bit exciting because I had lots of issues, um, and it didn't come out how I wanted it. So the idea being the door would come down, open flat out, and then slide away, and unfortunately, and I didn't know this about pistons before I really got started in them, they tend to shake a little. So I'll give you an example, or I'll show you what I mean. Uh, land on here. Go to my handy handy control panel that I have set up here. So if I hit one that reverses the rotor that the door is on its hinge on and it causes it to come down now you'll notice as it comes down to the end and hang on a second let's see if I can get a good angle on this when it hits the end it bounces and that's got to do from what I understand, it's got to do with the fact that there's a little bit of, um, uh, I guess, elasticity in the piston, so it's designed to kind of move around a little bit, and unfortunately this thing will bounce around for a very long time. Um, and then the other, so in order to close the door all the way, Meteor storm inbound. oh, that's a new upgrade to the system, which I really enjoy, and then kind of squeeze this door in nice and slowly and yeah now I think ways I can sol help solve the problem yeah you can hear it bouncing against the the base and it's just like it's just not a good thing um, and eventually that that landing gear will lock it into place so what I think I'm going to do and unfortunately uh, I don't don't necessarily like the idea uh, but I think I'm gonna have to completely redo the Bay Area again um, and I have an idea for it and I think it looks pretty cool uh, kinda of played a little bit in creative with the idea so uh, probably what I will do is um, tear apart this whole whole bay area which is I know a majority of this base and uh, rebuild it from scratch which is just kinda not what I wanted to do but I kinda need a little bit more space and I have a little bit it will help make the shape of the base look a little bit better than it has before <sighs> so to do that I'm going to have to uh, tear apart the old one so I'm gonna grind it away um, I'll grind everything away except for this back wall for right now and then uh, uh, when we get our I'm, I might do that on camera I might not just depending on how much time I have uh, so yeah <laughs> I don't look forward to this uh, I just is one of those things where I was sitting down and you know I was like oh man my one idea didn't work out and I don't like the fact that I have to put this gear here in order to oops safe I don't have to in order for it to work and the other thing is the door was supposed to swing all the way away and I was like well I'll just put a second piston in back here to pull the whole system back uh, the problem being again the fact that the pistons bounce I only I can only imagine how much more uh, <clears throat> how much more movement I'll get out of the door if I do it that way so 
<sighs> kind of back to the drawing board a little bit. Uh, should have designed this out in a creative mode beforehand, but you know, sometimes just drawing or trying starting stuff off the cuff uh, is. I always like that idea better than than going and planning out everything because you kind of get a more organic build if you just build it. But occasionally, you do run into the situation where you're like, "Man, I just need to tear this entire thing out and start again." So <clears throat> I'm gonna take a second, move some ships around get some things parked and ready and uh, start tearing out and building so see you guys in a second Welcome back. I changed my mind yet again. Halfway through construction or deconstruction of the place, I decided to do something different one more time. Ooh, sorry, that sounds a little loud. Audio, sound, there we go. So, what did I decide to do differently? Well, Oh, that's wild. Um, my original plan was to cut out the entire thing and do individual bays for the sh the four ships I have, or the well three. Um, and instead of doing that, I decided, why don't I just expand out the station and. So what we get instead 
I'll fly out here so we can see. What we get instead is this. And it's not complete, and it's just a wireframe, and it's going to take a lot more iron than I think I have currently to finish this, because I need to put in these little, uh, ooh, careful, in these little holes, it's going to be heavy armor. And so, um, basically what I did is I just, I'm going to copy this bay over here one, two, three more times. And then the door is this thing here and let me finish welding up a little bit of stuff I'm kind of experimenting because it looks like it looks like the doors actually damaging the I thought the blast doors were supposed to be designed so they won't touch the other blocks alright anyway um, so what the plan is, huh, that's weird, I can't, oh, there we go, what the plan is, is this will be all sealed off, That was weird. Sorry. Oh. I have a keyboard mess up. Alright, hang on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. The Occasionally my keyboard... Or I, I think one of my keyboard's starting to die, so occasionally, like, the D key gets stuck. So, anyway. So, the plan. The plan is... This will be all sealed off. There'll be more bays. This is the bay door, and I've already tested it a little bit, and it seems to work really well. We just hit this, tell it to go to reverse. Bay door comes up. Moves up there. And, oh yeah, that's plenty of space to get most of these small guys in. So all this guy will do is he'll fly up very carefully and dock over there. So, yeah, I think I like that plan better than the old one. Um, gives me more space to work with which is always nice because I tend to s build kinda small at first and then realize oh I need to go bigger and so much like Minecraft this game is if you can build it a little bit bigger do it because you will not regret having to having that extra space for various components and pipes or whatever so what will end up happening is it'll actually be this like you see these three blocks here this will probably stretch around the entire uh, base here or the entire bay here um, for kind of a walk around path uh, and then there will also be um, there will also be uh, up here I'm thinking to hide this I'll put like the command and control uh, like docking control all in this area here uh, just to just to kinda give it some sort of purpose to reason why it's popping up a little bit uh, and then um, yeah so uh, you'll probably I will probably do a quick video thing or th quick little fast forward of me completing this little little duob and um, when that's all said and done 
I'm, I'm not sure what else we'll get done today because this is this is just going to take a while. I have to do some mining and all sorts of other stuff. So, all right. Anyway, uh, so give me a second and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Sorry for the third break. Welcome back. So, whoop, come on. Ugh, there we go. So, it's complete. The door, at least. Um, and so I'm just doing a quick test run, making sure, like, getting out of the hangar. Oh, yeah. That'll be easy. Oh yeah, so I can see that from a distance. Just come up. Yeah, airplane noise is right. Fly in. Choose a bay. Like even over here, I could just be like, whoop, turn around, and there'll be little docking ports for me to dock into. And dock up and get out and roll over to where I need to go. Alright, I like it. And then if I need to close the bay door, I'll put a button or something in. Uh, but we'll access this. Tell it to reverse. Oh. Oh. Oh, really? Why do you dent up? Why do you dent? You shouldn't dent. You shouldn't be touching at all. Hmm. Might have to figure something else out for these corner pieces. But, other than some minor damage, we can call that sealed up, right? Yeah, that looks like... And it looks like a big giant stop sign. Do not enter. Alright. Cool. Man. Just barely has to touch it, doesn't it? Oh well. we'll f I'll fix that off camera. Maybe... That might... Oh. 
Might be something just as simple as doing this block instead. Uh, it's the heavy armor corner. I need the light armor. That's the heavy still. There we go. still hmm I don't know they shouldn't be hitting I wonder if I wonder if this thing is kind of bouncing a little bit side to side as it comes down that's a possibility too uh, I mean I guess I could just put heavy armor corners around this whole thing and then call it a day and it wouldn't wouldn't break, but eh, alright, whatever. That's good enough for right now. I'll figure out a better way off camera to fix this. Um, but uh, although I did have, as I was working on this, when I was putting these blocks in, I did have an idea. Um, but it won't be something I'd do in survival. And in fact, I think I have plenty of time on the video. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna load up a uh, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A uh, creative world and show you my idea. Uh, welcome back, guys. So this is my idea. I was playing with the the blast doors and I kind of noticed that it kind of had this blade looking ish um, thing to it. Or kind of, you know, kind of look like a sword, and I was like, oh, well, you could kind of put, mount this on the front of a ship, and I think it's pretty dense material because it's like I think a heavy armor block, and uh, so I went ahead and did some experimenting, and I came up with this, and the idea is this is kind of uh, melee combat in space, so there's two things. One, you can only have a few heavy armor blocks for a shield. Uh, two, you can only have a sword and I'm, you know, well, I, I'll mess with various links or whatever. And I'm, I'm going to get a buddy of mine to help out with this. Uh, and the last thing is you cannot have an engine pointing forward. And the reason for this is so it kind of you kind of have to turn and rotate and gives you a little bit more strategy as you're flying around but what what's really cool about this is you can so hitting heavy armor yeah you can break through stuff oh I broke my sword but uh, let's switch to the other guy um, I kind of took it and well, on light armor, the heavy arm or the the uh, the blast door block just tears through it. Um, it's really kind of funny when you look at it. So if I come around here, swing around, ooh, sword versus sword. So what you want to do is you not want you don't want to hit the heavy armor spots, but you want to hit like these spots and then kadunk broken and then this guy over here which I've nearly knocked off his sword come over here and go thwack and I, I believe it or not I between that last video and this I spent a good 15 20 minutes just coming in and smacking things with the sword or with the the blast door breaking it it was, it was quite a bit of fun um, and so yeah I'm gonna find I'll find a buddy of mine and maybe in one of the uh, one of the future episodes I do I'll uh, see how how well this works um, with a couple different people sweet because you can you know you can swing it around you can smack into things it's it's kind of well it's one of these things where it's just it's far more fun than it should be so 
Anyway, so that was my little little game idea that I had. Um, so I'll, again, I'll try this out sometime with some buds of mine. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything today. So anyway, this is Loki D signing off. I'll see you guys next time.